Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about becoming better each and every day. Specifically in this, I want to point out things that are going on in the world today. Now, I'm not going to name anything by name because the times will change, but the same basic premise will be underlying all of them. When you hear in the media about social justice and we got to injustice over here and this is bad and that's bad it doesn't even matter what side you're on it literally doesn't matter because the whole purpose of it is to program you to be in fear whether it's fear that this group is going against your rights fear this group isn't doing enough for you that fear that the government's doing this fear that it doesn't matter the whole idea is not which side you fall on it is to get you programmed into being afraid operating in fear because when you're in operating in fear, which the scripture says we are not given the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When you're operating in fear, you do not have power, you do not have love, and you do not have a sound mind. Even if you think you're the best and you're the most just person on the planet, your ideology is perfect and correct, and you're on the right side of everything, when you're operating from a place of fear, I guarantee you're not operating in love, and it will not get you good results. And when you're focusing on those negative things, all you're doing is bringing about more of that negativity, more of those things that will bring you that same vibration of negativity and fear. It may change what is actually occurring, the events, but the end result will be the same fear because that's what you're vibrating, that's what you're living from, and you're not operating in the spirit of God, you're operating in the spirit of this world, which is fear, which produces hate, which produces bitterness, which produces all this nonsense that so many people get wrapped up in. Like I said, it doesn't matter which side you're on because you can, you can tell yourself that you're on the right side of things, but you're still operating in fear because that's the whole idea. The programming the media is pushing out there isn't to get you to be on one side or the other. They may lean only for one side, but the whole purpose of it is to get you into fear. And you won't get good results, have a good life, and be able to actually be a real help to other people when you're operating in fear. My friend, I want to encourage you today, do not let people rob you of your faith. Do not let people rob you of your operating in love. Do not let people remove and rob you of that sound mind that you have. Because when you get into fear, you act irrationally. You accept things that are obviously not true. You buy into lies and you parrot them to other people. And all of that is you propagating more fear to others. So you're literally an instrument of fear, a tool to divide, a tool to harm other people. And most people really aren't striving for that. Some are, of course. But that's probably not your motive. I can't imagine you'd watch a video like this if that was your motive. So don't let that fear, whichever side it's on, doesn't matter what side you're on. That's the whole, that's the thing that people can't seem to grasp. They think as long as they get their ideology correct, as long as they're on the right side, whether it be the the politically correct side, whatever is, whatever is accepted by the media and promoted by them as being right, or whether it's the opposite of that, it doesn't matter because it's all the same thing. It seems different on the surface, but when you really boil it down, it is fear. It's just different branches of fear, and that spirit of fear, and not of power, not of love, not a sound mind by having the Spirit of God and being led by the Spirit of God, operating, walking in love, walking in the light as He is in the light, then you will not operate in fear. This is why I stress so much that people should not be watching the news or reading about the news or talking about the news of the day to other people because so often it is only to get you into fear. It doesn't mean the people who are telling you about it and your friends and family mean harm to you. They've just been programmed to be little evangelists for the media. 
and to be little evangelists for the evil one and to propagate the fear of the world. And yet, that's not the spirit that you operate in. You don't operate in a spirit of fear. You don't operate in a spirit of ignorance. You don't operate in a spirit of unbelief and doubt and lack. And many people want to do good and they want to help, but they get sidetracked in these little ventures into fear. And so much of the supposed justice, which is something we should seek, is really just fear. And so much of the other side where people are talking about, well, the, you know, this and that, and, it's just fear. And it robs you of your greater standing in God. It robs you of operating in the gifts of the Spirit. It robs you of having the goodness of God in your life. And that abundant life that Jesus came to give you will be far from you because you are not operating in the Spirit of grace. You're not operating in love. You're in fear. And in fear, you can't get good results. You just can't. You will just continue down the path that is not what you want. And it will not bring you the results that you want in life. So my friend, you really have to cast off this dependence on the media. This idea that somehow you're being informed if you are taking up the fear-based mantras of the media. And babbling out the news of the day as if that somehow means you're educated and informed. Because the reality is, the least educated and the least important as far as actually doing something valuable and helpful to the world those people they're well informed about the news they're babbling and repeating they can tell you that stuff's going on but they couldn't tell you how to pray and get results they couldn't tell you how to operate in the spirit of god they couldn't tell you how to be led by the spirit of god they couldn't even tell you when they're having an intuition a leading of the spirit of grace because their mind is cluttered with all this useless information that doesn't help them, it doesn't help their families, it doesn't help their neighborhood, it doesn't help anyone. It is just bringing them down the path of destruction. And so you have to choose, what are you going to put into your heart each day? Are you gonna open the eyes of your heart to see the goodness and grace and glory of God? Or are you gonna see fear and destruction and pandemics and plagues and problems and this is bad and that's bad and all the stuff that the media wants to program you to be fearful of. This is not to tell you to be unwise. Of course, you want to be wise. You want to operate in wisdom. But don't, don't lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're being wise and somehow being truly informed by being programmed into this negativity of the media and the negativity of the world. Because all it is is getting you into fear and it's robbing you of the goodness and grace of God in your life. The blessings, the good things, the things you want, that you're praying for, that you're believing for, are literally being stolen from you when you turn on that television or you press play for that video or you read that link on that website that is propagating fear into your heart. My friend, don't let that be part of your life. Every day, choose to look for good things. Look for the good. Look for what God has blessed and given you in great amounts. Look for the abundance that's everywhere. Look for good in other people's lives and the blessings that they're experiencing and praise God for that. Look for the good. Operate in the good. Operate in faith. Operate only focusing on those things that are good, those things that are true, that are just, that are lovely, that are of good report. If there be any praise, there be any virtue, think about those things, my friend. I pray this was a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.